Cisco ASA is one of the Cisco firewall products and by default you can only manage it using the CLI, but can be challenging for most of the network engineers. But there is actually another way to manage the ASA and it is by using a web tool called ASDM, that's Adaptive Security Device Manager, but let's just call it ASDM for short. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy the ASDM so that you can manage the ASA using a graphical user interface. Before we proceed, you're going to need two files. One of them is the Java runtime environment, and you can get this file directly from the Java company. So just Google uh, for Java runtime environment and you should be able to get it. This file will be required for the next file and that is the ASDM. Now the ASDM, you have to get it directly from Cisco. But at the time of this recording, the Cisco ASA is no longer being sold. So which means that you probably won't find any software related to this product on the Cisco platform. But in some cases, it might still be available. Now, if you already have Cisco ASA in your infrastructure, then it's probable that you already have this software in it. And I'm going to show you how to find it. Okay, so let's begin the installation of uh, Java runtime environment. So that's going to be a very straightforward uh, process. So we're just going to click yes. Okay, so we're going just to click on install and begin the installation. Okay, once the installation is completed, we're going to close this. And this is the topology that I'll be using. And this is the CCIE security lab that I was using while preparing for my CCIE security lab exam. And if you want, you can download this topology. I'm going to share the link in the video description so that you can get it for free. Okay, so essentially we're just going to focus on a couple of devices in this topology. So essentially this is going to be the ASA that we'll be using and I'll be using the ASAV. And we're going to use three interfaces. So one of them will be the Gig00, that's going to be the inside interface. Another one is going to be the Gig01, that's going to be the outside interface. And we're going to use the Gig02 to manage ASA. So let's call this uh, the management interface. And we're going to use the devices R5 and R11 as end-to-end, uh, -end, just to validate end-to-end -end connectivity. So I have already configured these devices with their respective IP address. So R5 has the IP address on the subnet 10.5.21 and R5 has the IP address 10.5.21.5 and ASA we have the IP address 10.5.21.21. On this side, we're going to use the subnet 10.11.21.11. So ASA will have the IP address 10.11.21.21. As for R11, we have the IP address 10.11.21.11. I have also configured OSPF on these two routers. So we're going to see how to enable OSPF on ASA as well using ASDM. Now these switches, they don't have any configuration at all. We're just going to use them to connect these uh, devices. Okay, so first thing first, let's jump into ASA. Okay, so this is blank ASA. So the only thing we're going to do is to assign an IP address and allow um, remote access to this device. So that's going to be G02 and the IP address is going to be 102.43.6 and no shot. Let's name this as management um, security level. Let's assign uh, 100 and let's confirm that I can reach uh, remote machines yes i can so this means that i should be able to access this device uh remotely so 43.6 okay so it's reachable now uh, if we look at the asa hard disk 
these are the only files that we have if you already have cisco asa in your deployment and you bought this from cisco you're likely very likely to already have the asdm file in these uh in the hard address okay so just make sure that you have in case you have to download from cisco okay so first we have to import the asdm file into asa and to do that i'm going to use the software tftp that's an ftp um tftp software so i don't have this installed so where do i have this let me take a look and here okay so i'm going to use this software and i'm going to select which uh interface i'm going to use and the folder that i'll be using to upload the files so now let me bring asa that's going to be copy tftp and i believe that's 43.5 and i want to copy this to disk zero now i need the file name i'm just going to yes that's what i want what is so actually that's wrong i don't think this is going to work i don't think so i did a mistake there so i'm not going to do this again so first i'm going to copy yes and the source file name that's the right one okay so now it's going to start copying this file from this folder into cisco asa okay once the file is copied we can double check whether it's in the disk and we can see that we have asdm here on the disk so now we have to allow remote access using the http uh, service on this asa so a couple things first so let's go to configuration mode and we're going to create a username for this let's just call this as silesium passwords so going to be ccie 65705 privilege that's going to be an admin so 15. next we're going to enable the http server and we're going to enable uh on the network 192.168.43.0 on the management interface next we're going to enable triple a authentication for http console to use uh, the local database and we have to finally uh inform what is the asdm image so in this case that's going to be zero asdm and that should be enough we also want to enable login console level six this is not related with sdm just to see uh, the logs on the terminal in case we have to troubleshoot uh, for something okay so now let's see if we have everything that we need so we have uh let's see http server and we allow the network okay it looks like we have everything so now let's bring the browser and we're going to the asa ip address that's 43.6 so warning potential risk ahead so we're going to accept the risk in continuum now if you try to this and you receive uh, an error related with tls you will have to adjust the settings on your browser in this case i'm using uh, firefox to, uh, the asdm by default is going to use uh, weak ciphers more precisely tls one uh, zero so most of the browsers today they don't allow they don't use the cipher so you have to adjust this i'm going also to share how to solve this issue in the video description okay so let's accept the risk and continue and we're going to install asdm launcher so we're going to provide the username and the password we just created and sign in okay so now we're going to save this file 
and now let's open this file yes confirm and just click on run and let's bring the sdm uh idm launcher next and next and install just confirm everything and it shouldn't take long okay so now let's minimize this and this is the asdm launcher so now let's type the username to log in so ccae c and just press ok and we are uh, getting the configuration from cisco asa so at this point we have successfully installed the asdm and we are able to manage the asa remotely so there is no active uh, okay so let's just do not show this again and yep let's just confirm that okay this is asav uh we can see the host name sdm version and a couple of things so let's see what are some of the basic settings we can do on this asa so if we go to configuration uh let's uh change the interface so let me bring the browser here okay let's see what are the things that we can do um so let's just focus on on the interfaces for now so let's go to interface settings interfaces and so let's start configuring the gig 00 interface and so the interface name let's give it a name to be inside security level let's assign 100 and we want to enable the interface ip address let's use the ip address 10 5 uh, that should be 21 21 subnet mess let's choose 24 description set to LAN and let's click OK yeah no problem let's do the same for gig 01 and it's going to be outside security level is going to be zero enable the interface that's going to be 10 5 actually that should be 10 11 21 21 and subnet mass should be 24 and description let's just say this is when click ok and yes now just because we are making these changes doesn't mean that we are applying them so if we take a look and oh, let me disable login console just to level five. So if we take a look at zero zero, we don't see any change so far. So now, okay, whenever we make a change or uh, directly on ASA, this is going to detect here and it's going to prompt us if we want to update the information that were uh, changed on ASA to be reflected on ASDM. So we want to refresh this and actually I want to see this all the time. So I haven't, so okay. So now I'm going to cancel because I want to apply this first. So we're going to ignore the ones that we did on ASA. And if we confirm this again, we can see that these changes that we did using ASDM were applied on asa okay so what else can we do now i have to reduce the console so i could do this also using um the asdm but just for simplicity so now let's go to yeah it's detected yeah refresh now okay so now let's go to for instance let's change the device name Let's change this to firewall ASAV and apply this. So now let me check the host name. We can see that it was updated. That's awesome. So let's also enable OSPF on this ASA and see if we can allow communication between R5 and R11. So let me bring uh, just R5 at the moment. So I have ospf already enabled okay but i'm not receiving any routes okay 
So let me just bring this here and let's enable OSPF on ASA. So let's go to routing. Uh, that should be OSPF set up and we want to enable OSPF process. Let's use the process number one and area networks. Let's add uh, OSPF process one area ID. Let's use zero and let's add which area networks we want to enable OSPF. So one of them will be 10, 5, 11 and that's 11 10 5 21 0 and the net mask is going to be uh, slash 24 and the other one's going to be 10 11 21 0 and we want to add these two networks just make sure that we have everything okay these two networks options Ooh, no Let's just use as it is and let's apply those changes now uh, okay now we can see the adjacency was already established between r5 and also probably between r11 so let's bring 11 so ip ospf neighbor yes we can see the so ip route so we can see the subnet from uh say r5 and asa so do we have reachability uh, let's test this from r5 because r5 is on the inside so let's try to reach 10 um 11 21 11 and it looks like it's not working okay so by default uh cisco asa uh, has a policy to deny uh, ICMP so we'll have to apply a quick fix here using the CLI directly on ASA and hopefully this works and now let's refresh this and let me show you the script that I'm using so we just have to allow this command i'll add this command inspect icmp to allow icmp through the asa now let's do this again and hopefully this should work now and it was working now there are other settings that we can do on asa uh such as enabling uh erjp bgp isis uh, we can also uh deploy the rules we can enable net and a lot more so Hopefully by now you have an understanding on how to install ASDM to manage the Cisco ASA. So if you took value from this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one.